Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 23rd of January. Firstly, I'm going to take you through two trades that we currently have open courtesy of Axel. The first one is a short in dollar CAD and we can see here that he placed the trade and it ultimately moved lower. But then we saw a bit of a pop. That looks like a retracement. We're heading lower once again. So this looks like it could run some uh, in his favor. So it looks like it could be a good trade as we see this sort of topping out pattern uh, looking like it's going to provide us with further weakness for dollar CAD. In terms of the other one, it's aluminium and looking for upside. That was last week's trade of the week. We saw a bit of a pullback, but ultimately all those, well, those two days were sort of indecision candles anyway and starting to move upwards once again here. So hopefully that also is going to continue to move in the right direction. For the week ahead, I wanted to look at dollar yen. We're seeing a bit of a rebound here, but for me, I think it's likely that this will fade. Certainly, this is highlighted by this chart here. The differential between Japanese and US inflation by the sort of orangey yellowy line. Um, generally, as we saw here, that big pickup we saw originally uh, really front run the pickup in terms of dollar yen. Now we've seen it top out and we're seeing US inflation drop, Japanese inflation rise, and that front run price on dollar yen quite significantly too. So as long as we continue to see this orange line moving towards the downside, I see grounds for further weakness in dollar yen. In terms of the price itself, we're rebounding, but we've got this descending channel. So I think it's likely that this near term rebound is going to be fleeting in nature and happy to place a short trade on dollar yen with a stop at 135 and a target at 125 for essentially a one for one trade here for dollar yen.